Hello and welcome back to the Linux Panic YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to show you how to install Ubuntu from start to finish. Now, I'm running this inside of a VM. This will be different for you if you're run when you're installing on bare metal. You can do it via a USB stick or a CD or whatever install medium you fancy at the time. For me, I'm just running it inside my virtual machine. So once you plug in your device and then select your install media and it boots up, this is the screen you'll be met with. So from here, you want to click install Ubuntu, give it a second, and select your correct language and keyboard. So for me, I'm just using the a regular English US keyboard and nothing special, so I'm just going to select continue. Uh, with this one, it this shows like what we can do with the install. So we can go with a normal installation where it gives us, gives us stuff like our web browser, some utilities, some office software such as LibreOffice, uh, a couple games and media players. So, such as VLC. We'll go with a normal installation and we'll just go with download, uh, da download updates whilst installing Ubuntu. We have the option of installing third party software such as stuff for your Wi Fi, your Ethernet drivers, uh, for your graphics cards, whatever you're using. Uh, you have the choice to install third party uh, drivers, but in this case, we're not. We're just going to select continue. And then from this, it's just going to go, okay, I'm just communicating with the Ubuntu server. Say, hey, look, can I have any updates, please? Thank you. Uh, whilst it does that, you can, it can take anywhere from five seconds to a minute, but it's not. So in this case, it's going to say, hey, look, uh, how do you want to install it? So in this case, we are going to just go erase disk and install Ubuntu. Select install now. And it's going to say, hey, look, because you want to raise this, this is what's going to be happening. You're just going to say, yep, go for it. Let it happen. You need to select your time zone. Select continue. Uh, the reason why the screen looks funky is because it's inside of a virtual machine, so it's not taking up the entire screen. You won't have this issue if you're installing it onto bare metal. So this wants a name, so we're just going to give it Nick, and then same with the password. Uh, we do, unless we are attaching this to a domain, uh, which we are not, we do not need to give it a, we do not need to sell it, use Active Directory. Uh, that's the sort of stuff you'd use for like a business network or a school network or any larger network that has run off Windows Server. Once that's done, we're just going to click continue. Give this a second to think about what it's going to be doing. And then once we have done that, this is just going to go, okay, I'm now going to start doing all the files that I need to do. So we're now just going to sit and wait for that to be finished.
Okay, now the install process has finished. We're going to just select restart now. Now, this could take anywhere from 30 to 2 minutes because just restart. Of course, Linux is this, power, is this wonderful thing, so it shouldn't take too long. So first off, we're going to restore, remove the install media, should I say. And the install media is removed. Hit enter. Wait for it to restart. And then we should be done. Now this is going to ask for a password for the first time around because we've already because we've not logged in yet. It's going to ask for a password to say, "Hey, look, who are you?" After that, at that point, it's going to be no bothers at all. You don't need to worry about any errors that pop up. It's just saying it's just general operation errors. Most computers, whenever they turn on, will chuck some sort of error anyway, just to say, "Hey, look, I ran into an error." Now errors are ne are not necessarily a bad thing. They can be a good thing. It's just that, "Hey, look, I errored out on this thing." That means uh, this is working. Uh, that's how that's some that's how scammers will sometimes catch you out by saying, "Oh, look at all these errors." No, er errors sometimes can be a good thing as well. Anyway, now we just need to wait for Ubuntu to finish loading up, and then we will be good to go. Ubuntu logo disappeared, and then give it about five seconds. And we should be good to go. Okay, and here we are. We are now sat inside of Ubuntu. Now we don't because I'm not going to be adding any online accounts. I can just go skip. Uh, this would be like, hey, look, do you, how do you want to keep your computer secure? Do you want to set up hard drive encryption? In this case, uh, no. So just like continue. Uh, this is just saying, hey, look, uh, how can can we have some information on how your system's performing to help make help uh, make it better? So in this case, I'm just going to select no because it's not going to exist long enough anyway to notice or to matter. Uh, I don't want location services on. And then just select done. And here we are. Now if I just do... And then go... Here, fetch. And then we should be good to go after this. That's going to now uh, install NeoFetch. It should. It's taking a little bit longer just to confirm it's read everything right. Now it's installing the soft uh, the with Ubuntu. It comes with a automatic software update, so you just update in the background, or you can set it to update, but it will never scream. I need to be restarted now, like Windows does. Because Windows loves to, loves to do that. Anyway, that has been this video. I'd like to thank the following patrons, uh, Raining Hazmat and Ashley, for being patrons. Uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video so you can uh, be made aware of when there are more videos. And if you have any questions or struggling with anything, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.